we can make a big difference in the monarch population. And to know that tiny little Elkton is able to contribute to helping with the butterflies, we've really become known for it. Today I'm driving to Elkton, a city of 180 people located in Douglas County on the Umpqua River. In the summer months, Elkton's monarch butterfly population outnumbers town residents three to one. This year, the Elkton Community Education Center will raise and release more than 500 monarch butterflies. We have three generations of monarchs throughout the summer and the early fall that we raise from egg to caterpillar to chrysalis to adult butterflies. These are the ones that we will be releasing to go south to the coast of California. Visitors can also adopt a butterfly to release. For a $25 donation, I adopted a male monarch, named him Gerald, and released him in the Native Plants Park to begin his long journey south. It's our way of uh, letting people release butterflies for donations, and we let them fill out an adoption certificate. They get to release the butterfly, and we'll let them know if their butterfly that is tagged is spotted down south in either California or Mexico. Uh, 2703. Each butterfly is tagged with a tiny numbered sticker as part of a study of monarch migration. People who find tagged butterflies are asked to report them using an email address on the tag. Part of the issue really for monarchs is that they're specialists. The caterpillars will only feed on one kind of plant and that's milkweed. We encourage people to plant milkweed in their gardens because if we don't have milkweed, we don't have monarchs. You also want to have nectar-bearing plants, so pollinator-friendly plants. It's as easy as literally planting some plants in your yard and taking care of them. We want people to know that there's so much more to Easy Easy than butterflies, but butterflies are something, no matter who you are, that's a common interest, a common ground. You instinctively and intuitively want to know more about them, and that's where you can make a connection with the person. That's when you can start telling them, yeah, we do have a rock and butterfly program. And we have all these other cool things too. So we've got things like a youth employment program. We have book clubs and community clubs that meet here in our library. We have a life-size replica of a fur trading fort. Everything that we do ties back to our core mission and values, which is creating a cultural, a social, and an educational oasis for all ages in rural Oregon.